probably reality's not as good. <laughs> yeah. You know, you start moving on pretty quickly as a coach, uh, so excited, and you try to enjoy it. Uh, but in the postseason, you know, you're just trying to see how long you can continue, and and uh, you feel like you need to put the necessary time in. But uh, you know, I slept well last night for the first time all week. Uh, hopefully. Allergies stay away in the next couple days, but uh, so glad to be a part of it. Talk about how big your defense was today against an offense that you knew was going to be very potent. Unbelievable. I, I mean, I didn't know we were going to play that well. I just, I, I just didn't know if we would get the necessary pass rush and cover as consistently as we did. But the reality was, and it's high school football, we captured momentum. And when you do that, everything else becomes better a little bit. So uh, that's a credit to our kids. Very little that I'm doing or anybody else has done. Just the kids go out there and play, and compete, and fight, and have success, and then take that success and try to multiply it and it carried over to the defense. It's a feather in the cap, but just talk about now two years straight winning a first round playoff game against a non-BDC opponent. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to help the Diamond get on the map statewide, and the way you got to do that is uh, you know, win in the postseason. I, I haven't checked the other schools, but I'm hoping they have as much success as we have. Um, there's a lot that goes into it, you know, matchups and, and home and away and that kind of stuff. But really, snap the football, blow the whistle. If you outplay your opponent as consistently as you can over the game, you win.